Now obviously uploading a photo to Instagram is pretty straightforward, but the problem is when you're uploading a vertical photo, Instagram ends up cropping the image, taking away some of the edges of your photo. So the big question becomes, how can you fit a vertical photo onto Instagram without having to crop it? Well, in this video, I wanna share two easy ways to do just that using Photoshop, as well as a free tool that you can use on your computer or your mobile device. So let's get started. Hello friends, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and when I post photos on Instagram, I hate the fact that it crops them so much and I'm sure you do too, which is why you're watching this video. So I wanna share two really easy ways to fix this problem. The first way requires that you actually have Photoshop. So if that's gonna be a problem for you, then just skip ahead to this time code down below and that's when we'll be talking all about that free app for your desktop or mobile device that you can do the exact same process with. Now to start things off, we're gonna talk all about Photoshop and creating a perfect Instagram crop, as well as resizing your images to make sure that everything fits into one frame. So let's hop in the program and get started. Now the most important thing to do in this process is to actually create a new document. So here in the starting screen, I'm gonna go press create new. Now what I want to do is set a new document with a width and height of 4,000 by 5,000 so that we have a vertical orientation. The resolution in this example I'll set to 175 and I'll leave everything else you see here as is. Now if you want to use this exact preset multiple times, you can save this new document dimension as a preset to use later on. So we can do that just by typing in a new name here. I'll call this IG crop size. And then I'll press on this little icon right here. Now for the actual name that we'll see here in our panel, I'll call this once again to IG crop and go save preset. Now I can quickly access those exact same crop dimensions whenever I'm going to create a new document just by going to the save tab and then going to IG crop. Now, as you can see, I already have one created. So I'm just gonna press the trash can icon on this one. So I only have the one preset available. Anyways, once all of your dimensions are looking good and you've created your preset, if you're into that kind of thing, then just press create. Now we have a four by five image, which is going to be the exact same dimensions as what a vertical post on Instagram is. So now let's go and bring our photo into this canvas. I'll go up to file and down here to open and then go and access the photo I want to import. Now my photo has just opened in Photoshop so I'll just press V to access my move tool and then click and drag it over into my IG crop project. Now, as you can see, the image is obviously quite cropped because this whole area is not being included and same with this area. So we can just click and drag on the corners of our transform box to reposition this image to fit within our photo. Now, personally, I don't really like having these white borders here, so I want to fill everything out. In order to fill everything out without getting rid of too much of the top and bottom of your photo, you're going to have to do a little bit of distorting. You can easily do that with the move tool just by holding the shift key on your keyboard. Now, I can click and drag out horizontally or I can stretch things vertically as well. So just by playing around with this, you can stretch out your photo in different directions until you basically fill out all of this additional area like so. Now, if you go too crazy with this, your image might look a little bit stretched out and it's not gonna look super good, especially if you're working with like a portrait and you're close up to someone's face, this is gonna look a little bit funny. So if that's happening to you, all you have to do is hold the shift key and then click and drag up just slightly and it's going to make those distortions feel a little bit less noticeable. So now we still have a little bit of a crop on either end of our photo, but it's significantly less than what we started with. So with this, all done. I'll press the check mark to commit to that. And then now we can go and save this photo as a JPEG to put onto Instagram. So I'll go up to file, then to save as. I'll just leave it set to IG crop size. You can rename this to whatever you would like. The important part, however, is that we put the format to JPEG and then we'll go and click save. Make sure that the quality is set to 12 and then we'll press okay to export that photo. Now you can go and add that photo to your phone via Dropbox, Google Drive, or AirDrop and then upload it to Instagram and it will have the perfect crop dimensions that you're looking for. So now that you know how to do this process in Photoshop, let's talk about our second example using Canva. Now Canva is a free app that you can use on your mobile device or on your computer. So it's totally up to you which option that you prefer, but since you're uploading your photo to Instagram through your phone, I thought it'd be a good idea to do this demonstration on my phone as well. Now, if you don't already have a Canva profile set up, I'll leave a link down below where you can sign up and get everything started. So once you're here in the Canva app, you have a few different options to choose from for Instagram. There's Instagram stories, Instagram posts, as well as animated social media. Now, what we're wanting to do is create a vertical Instagram post. 
So none of these options will actually work for us. Instead, we have to go and create our very own custom design using some different dimensions that aren't listed here in any of the presets. So clicking on the plus icon, we're gonna create a new design and then go to custom size. In this custom size option, we'll set the width to 4,000 and the height to 5,000. Then we'll press create new design. Now that we have our new design created, we'll go to our uploads and you can go and upload the photo or photos that you want to fit into this vertical Instagram crop. In this case, I already have a vertical photo uploaded to my uploads. So I can just tap on that and then drag out on the corners just to rescale it to my entire canvas. So again, this four x five canvas will fit entirely in a vertical Instagram crop. Now, just like with the Photoshop example, we have the white borders on either side of the image. Now, if this is okay with you, then you'll probably want to center your photo. So just tapping on the image and then going over to position, We'll then just press the center option and that's gonna center our image on the canvas and everything will look good with those white borders. Now, if you don't want those white borders, you're gonna to wanna to fill everything in. So we'll have to do a little bit of stretching. So clicking on those side anchor points, we can just click and drag out like so and we'll move it over to one side of our design click and drag out again like that. And now we've filled our entire canvas with the photo. So now from here, you have two options. You can either download it to your phone to upload to Instagram later, or you can upload it to Instagram directly from your phone. So pressing on this little share icon right here, I can go to Instagram and that's going to upload this exact photo onto my Instagram account. It's gonna take a second to connect to your Instagram app and then you'll have all the same options as you would normally. Then once your photo opens in Instagram, just press feed rescale it so that the entire canvas is fitting, go to next, and then you can just upload your photo as normal. Now the alternative option, if you don't wanna share it directly from Canva, is just press this download icon here, and then you can just press save. That's going to save your design directly to your camera roll so then you can access it later to upload to Instagram. But since we've made it so it fits in the exact dimensions that we're looking for, now when you go to upload it to Instagram, your entire photo will be visible. So whether you decided to use the Photoshop method or this Canva method that we just did here, these are two really easy ways to make your portrait photos fit onto Instagram without having to deal with a whole bunch of cropping. Now I really love Canva for all my thumbnails and design things that I do on my website. So beyond just making your photos fit better on Instagram, there's a ton of things that Canva can do. Now I actually went and wrote an article all about Canva and the advantages to upgrading to the pro version if you decide to do something like that. So I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in writing that as well. So if you enjoyed today's tutorial and you're gonna use these tips to help you avoid the cropping factor on Instagram, then make sure to hit that like button down below. And also consider subscribing to stay up to date with more photo editing tips just like today. Again, my name is Brennan from bewellcreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.